Okay, now we're going to be taking a look at an example of using methods. This right here, I built a class called my method. And in the main, you will recognize that we have a sc scanner keyboard. And it gets information from the user, which will be an integer for um, asking you for your grade from 0 to 100, getting an input. And now this is something different. Right here, I'm going to make a call to a display message method. And it's used by just having the name here, display message, which is the name of the method, and putting in my parameters, which display message takes in an integer called my grade. So we put in input, which is an integer, as we can see here. And when it calls the method, you will notice that <coughs> right here, the method will take an integer, like we just said, and it will make a copy of it. My grade will copy input. It will not directly be tied to input. It'll just copy it. So, say for instance, uh, down here, I notice I ran it, I put 95. 95 gets put in here, and now my grade is being tested. If it's greater than 89, which it is, it'll print out an A. Yeah, else if, if it was lower than 80 and greater than 80, 79 it would be a B. Actually, huh, that's actually wrong. Let's take a look there. Greater than 79, less than 90. There we go. And else if it was greater than 69, and lower than 80, actually, that would be a C. With a little information there. And else if, then you fail. Obviously in real world you wouldn't, there was D's and so on, but uh, just for this example we'll go ahead and do that. So, why we do this is because if you were to call this in a while loop and do this several times, you would actually have to do the if statement several times. And this way, you could just make a call to the um, method and just reuse that method over and over and over again whenever I have to, to type out all of this right here. So that's good. So I hope this helps you with your uh, understanding of methods. And um, we'll have more videos to cover more subjects on this.